This video is for anyone who's trying to launch their online business. So I've noticed a lot of videos on YouTube which talk about a certain business and how that business is the best compared to something else. My advice to everyone who's starting an online business, the first step, the very first step you do while you start an online business is do a resource assessment. Now, what does that mean? Do a resource assessment. You essentially have three resources. You have money, which most people think is the only resource. You have time and you have energy. Now, depending on your situation, you have to understand which resource is the most beneficial for you and which is the one you have in abundance. So if you happen to be someone who has a long extended job and you have saved a lot of money, then money becomes your number one resource. If you're a student who doesn't have much money, then time becomes your main resource. And energy is also an important resource because if you have a job and you're starting an online business while having a full time job, then it's exceptionally important for you to understand that you probably will be putting in 12, 13, 14 hours a day, Monday to Sunday. So that's what the online online business world is all about. So you have to do a resource analysis. You have to understand where you are, what situation you are in. And the best way, the best framework that I can give you is, is called the time money matrix. For example, most students have a lot of time, but they don't have money. So they are time rich, but money poor. Then you have people who are in their mid thirties or late thirties who have 12, 13, 14 years of work experience. They have a lot of money in their savings account. So they are money rich, but they're not necessarily time rich. Then you have people who have money as well as time. Perhaps they have funding from somewhere. Perhaps their parents have given them money. Perhaps they have gotten money from someplace else and they also have time. And the fourth condition, which is probably the worst case scenario, which I believe a lot of my viewers and a lot of people watching this video have is time poor and money poor. Now, this is a situation particularly experienced by people who have just started a job. If you're 24, 25, you've just started a job, you don't have much money, you have to spend two to three years in the corporate world while you build your business on the side. So before you start any business, you have to understand which quadrant you fall into, whether you're time rich, money poor, time poor, money rich, rich in both categories or poor in both categories. Once you've established that, then you see which resource do you have? How much money do you, how much money can you spend? How much time can you dedicate to your online business? And how much energy do you have at the end of the day to do your job on a consistent basis? Now, fundamental rule. I don't care what online business tickles your fancy, which one you feel is, is the best, which one you feel is the most superior, doesn't matter. Do not spend excessive money unless you have proof of concept. So fix the amount of money that you will be spending on a monthly basis. Keep it less than 10% of your savings. Keep it about 10 to 15% of your income, monthly income if that's the case, if you're spending it on a monthly basis. And don't invest all your money before you have proof of concept. You do not want to be in a situation where you've dedicated six months, one year to a particular business model. It hasn't worked out and you've spent, if you're an Indian, you've spent two, three lakh. If you're an American or, uh, you know, European or whatever, you spend several thousand dollars or euros in that. And now you have no money left. So don't be in that situation. The ideal case scenario is that in case your business doesn't work out, in case something doesn't pan out the way it's supposed to, the only thing you've lost is some time and a little bit of energy. That's it. That's all you've lost. You don't want to be in debt. You don't want to take on debt. You don't want to be in, in monetary loss without having a proof of concept. So first, invest bare minimum, make money, make money, get the proof of concept. Once you realize that, yes, there is enough money in the business, money can be made in the business, then you invest your savings or a substantial portion of your income. I hope this helps you. If the video helped you, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I will be helping you with your online business needs and giving you tips and advice on how to launch your online business from scratch. Thank you. Take care.